All right, hey everyone. So it's another Sunday. Um, so as you know, I like to share something on the spiritual side on Sundays as we prepare for another week ahead. And as I was reading the the Bible verses for today, um, you know, one of the things I like about Jesus is that he was a very straightforward and, and simple guy. In many ways, quite easy to follow. And perhaps one of the earliest models of leadership via storytelling. So the story that I came across today was the the parable featuring two people, two guys who went to the temple to pray. So the first guy is this uh, Pharisee, you know, religious person of a certain stature and privilege, so forth. And he goes to the temple and he begins to pray and he is talking about all the ways that he's better than other people. So he says, you know, God, look at me. I'm so much better than the thieves and the adulterers and even this tax collector over here who happens to be the second guy. So he says, God, you know, I, I should have my place because I'm better than all of these people. And the tax collector, not going to the front of the temple, keeping some distance back, he's beating his chest and he's saying, you know, God forgive me, a sinner, doing my best, but I know it's not good enough, basically. He doesn't talk about anybody else. It's a direct connection between him and the, the Almighty. <clears throat> so, one of the things I took away as that verse ended, it finished by saying the people who praise themselves, the people who, <clears throat> as we say in the Caribbean, big up themselves, those will be humbled ultimately. And the people who can humble themselves are the ones who will be exalted in the end, are the ones who would find the, the special place in the life after this one. And that is important to remember as you pursue your success and you build things in, in this lifetime that on the spiritual side, we're not really living for, for this life in itself. And all the things that are material, they're fleeting. They, they're, you have them today and tomorrow there's somebody else's, but the things that really matter relationships, your spirituality, your health, the very things that money can't buy or bring back. So as you think about this week looking forward, make sure that you factor that into your your thinking, the way that you that you try to be. That you focus not on praising yourself or putting yourself forward as seeming better than somebody else, but focusing on the competition within yourself. How can you be better today than you were yesterday? And keeping a direct spiritual connection to the source because each of us can only account for ourselves um, at the end of the day. So the other thing which said, which came up as I was reading was, you kept a good, you fought the good fight, you finished your race and you keep the faith. So as you run your individual races this week, as you fight the good fight, whatever that may be, make sure that you keep your faith because only that would allow you to tackle things that are seemingly insurmountable. So that's my spiritual thought for the, for the week. <clears throat> I had a good weekend, some rest, some recovery, some relaxation, some time with family and loved ones and a little bit of self-care and now we're ready to to go again for another week and i wish it to, i wish it to be a powerful one for you a productive one for you and that you keep the faith and you fight the good fight until tomorrow <laughs>